What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So we have a new trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix. Uh, this is the uh, new film from the new generation of X-Men movies. Uh, <clears throat> right after the exit of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, uh, you would think that they wouldn't want to do any more X-Men movies after that. I know that it's really hard to stay interested knowing that Hugh Jackman is no longer going to be playing the angry claw killer. <laughs> um, but alas, here we are with Dark Phoenix. This movie has been going through a lot of uh, scheduling changes. Um, there was a report that some of the early reactions were not so positive. Uh, and I know that me personally, after seeing the first trailer for this film, I wasn't really interested. You know, I was like, well, uh, it looks okay, but that's about it. Um, so... And I actually really enjoyed the X-Men movies. I actually really enjoyed the last few that they did. Was not really a fan of Apocalypse, but you know, I was just kind of hoping, yeah, it was just one that faltered a bit. Maybe they can come back. So here we are, uh, new trailer for this film. Let's see if all the scheduling changes and uh, you know all of the, the the bad news about it. Let's see if that was actually true, or if we might have a a gem on our hands. Sophie Turner playing Jean, Jean Grey, who's uh, having difficulty with her powers, or uh, like the last trailer showed us, maybe just enjoys it a little bit too too much. Uh, we'll see how her performance is. And of course, seeing a lot of these characters come back, James McAvoy as Professor X, uh, Michael Fassbender as, Mag as Magneto, and a few others, Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, we'll see how everything comes to comes together here and talk about it. So uh, without further ado, Let's take a look at this. Why did you make me do that? Look at me. Focus on my voice. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She was my friend. You're my family, Jean. Stop. No matter what. Stop. 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 So much better trailer this time around. Um, and that's interesting. I'm not sure if she's having difficulty controlling her powers or if it's uh, or if the Dark Phoenix is emotionally triggered. Didn't read the original comics for this, but I, I, I am a little bit familiar with with it. I know that she just kind of had this uh, uh, this power within her that she couldn't, couldn't, couldn't control, like took a life of its own. 
So, you know, when it would come out, she would go away mentally and then there would be like this entirely new person who'd be doing that. I'm not sure if they're going to stick with that here, uh, but it looks really, really good. It does. Her crushing Magneto's helmet was, <laughs> was really hard to watch. Uh, and I'm not sure if she kills Mystique. Is Jennifer Lawrence not really going to be in this film? That'll be interesting to see. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the last uh, X-Men film for Fox, considering the merger that they had with Marvel. So if, if this is the last one, hopefully they go out on a bang, which I don't really see happening. <laughs> not, not trying to be negative, but I, I mean, you know, this entirely new, new cast, uh, I, just, I just don't see them going out on the bang with this story. But I could be, I could be surprised. I really could. I want it to be good. I want to be entertained by it. So we'll see June 7th. Uh, hopefully they don't change the date again. <laughs> um, just a few months away. We'll see what Fox has. <sighs> we'll see what Fox has in store for, for us all. Now, uh, what we do have to look forward to is possibly, you know, an, an X-Men film after Marvel decides to reboot it, an X-Men film that is actually very very true to the comics not as uh, uh flashy as as these so that would be something to look forward to if this is the the last one but a part of me would be kind of sad if fox no longer had you know does x-men movies considering they've been distributing x-men films since like 99 so uh part of me doesn't want that to happen but we'll see we don't we, we don't really know all of the um details with that merger yet so I guess we'll find out as time go, goes on. Uh, overall, the Dark Phoenix trailer was pretty cool. Um, much better than that, than that last one. Am I entirely convinced it'll be good? Not really, but it could be. So what did you guys think of the trailer? Are you excited to see Dark Phoenix or are you just ready for these X-Men films to be over and you want Marvel to, to reboot the property? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. That's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay dope.